George Clooney is currently on the Gold Coast to film his new movie, Ticket to Paradise. And instead of taking the week off to enjoy the holidays, has been busy working on the set of the highly anticipated romantic comedy. On Tuesday, the Hollywood heartthrob was seen walking around on the bushland set surrounded by the production crew. The 60-year-old Nespresso ambassador had a cup of takeaway coffee in hand and was accompanied by a bodyguard as he made his way around the area. The award-winning actor was dressed in a casual grey ensemble with a polo shirt, black trousers and grey shoes. After his coffee, he made his way to his marker in front of the camera and waited for the camera operator to be ready for the shot. As he got himself into place, the crew prepared to capture the scene with an on-set assistant ready with a clapper board in hand. The Ocean's Eleven star appeared to have nailed the scene after just a few takes before heading back into a nearby tent. He later emerged with his microphone pack, which he returned to the audio team before heading home to his wife Amal and their children. George stars in Ticket to Paradise with friend and leading lady Julia Roberts. They began filming last month on the Gold Coast and in Brisbane, and then moved to the Whitsundays shortly afterwards. The high-profile actors play a divorced couple who travel to Bali in a desperate bid to stop their daughter, played by Caitlin Dever, from getting married. The movie also stars Billy Lord as Dever's best friend, who travels with her to Bali, where she decides to marry a local. It was revealed in March that George and Julia were heading to Australia to film the hotly anticipated project. George relocated to Australia in October with Amal and the couple's five-year-old twins, Alexander and Della. Despite spending their mandatory 14-day quarantine period at a sprawling NSW Southern Highlands estate rather than the usual hotel, George still complained about the conditions. You have to stay in one place for 14 days until you're finally allowed to go out and breathe, he told WTF podcast host Mark Marin. Julia also jetted into Australia in October, spending her quarantine period at a $56.9 million mansion in Sydney's Vaucluse. George and Julia are good friends in real life having first met on the set of Ocean's Eleven in 2001. In an interview with People in April 2016, Julia said it was a relief that she and George aren't just Hollywood friends. I just said to him an hour ago, thank God we really do like each other, or we'd be in hell, she said at the time. Furthermore, George said their families are also good friends, which makes it easy for them to collaborate regularly. Danny and I are great friends and love each other. What's fun is it's really like a family, he told people. It makes it easy. It's really fun to go, hey, let's do this movie together. Added Julia, what Hess saying is we've just stitched our lives closer together. All these people that come into our lives, my husband, my children, his wife Amal Clooney. We just keep stitching our lives closer together. 